my course is on comparative research designs and comparative methods in the social sciences in a broader sense, but also more sp specific, specifically in political science. And there was a very famous French sociologist, who, Emile Durkheim, who once said, um, comparison is the only method suitable for the social sciences. But again, at the same time, you have to consider Descartes' admonition that comparison n'est pas raison, which means comparison by itself is not an explanation, it's not a theory, it's just a tool which you can use to come up with better explanations, with a better theory. And so in this course I teach some more specific methods and techniques which have been developed over the last 20 25 years and which are called qualitative comparative analysis, in short QCA. And this method is particularly applicable at research situations where you are dealing with a small or a medium limited number of cases, as opposed to very large N studies where you can use statistical methods where you have, if possible, um, a large sample of respondents in a, in a social science survey where you can have a random distribution, a normal distribution and a random sample, uh, which we do not have when we compare countries at the macro level, compare Mexico to other America, Latin American countries, or within Mexico when we compare the 32 um, federal states, or also at the um, community level when we co 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 compare municipalities and towns in terms of their development, in terms of, terms of their administration, in terms of their, well, sometimes it happens, level of corruption, uh, things like that. So for all such investigations at the macro level with limited number of cases, the, these qualitative comparative methods which are now also based on uh, specific software which is available uh, free of charge. So this is the main purpose of, of my course and I introduce the students to these new ways of thinking about comparative research designs, also how to operationalize these designs in practical work and then how to apply the software we have developed during the last few years uh, for their own research purposes. And in actual fact, um, the students have an opportunity to present their own research projects during the course and then we can see how well they have understood, first of all, what we have, have been talking about, but also they learn a lot from each other by going down to the nitty-gritty, sometimes some small technical details, but sometimes also some larger research questions which come to mind in the discussions with their fellow students. So in this respect, um, in that particular field, this course offers some new ways of how to cope with your social environment and cope with research projects in a small and medium N situation.